All right, it's always a great morning when Chef Nazim joins us in studio. Nazim Khan, the executive chef senior at Virginia Tech. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Bob. How you been? Been great. Been great. You know, football around the corner, so That's it's right. a little busy. Uh, but uh, things looking good. Call on the students heading back to campus as yeah, well. Moving yeah. day tomorrow, right? Moving day is actually or start today. from yesterday. Yeah. Oh wow. Yesterday is like packed, so we have sure. to park a little bit farther place. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's good to see like oh, yeah. a lot of activities going on on campus. Yep. So. Um, we got some yeah. tuna here, tuna yeah. sliders for this. Tuna morning. slider, yeah. The way um, you know, you know, you can buy canned tuna, but you know, right. I had some ahi tuna, so I cooked it up for you. It's very simple to cook. Anytime you buy the like whole tuna steak from uh, any grocery store, mm -hmm. so what do you have to do? You have to do like uh, onion, carrot, celery, and uh, then some peppercorn and a couple of bay leaves. Bring it to a boilish, boiling mm -hmm. water. When it's vigorously boiling, you cut off the fire and you let your tuna sit into the boiling water like 15 to 20 minutes. What that does, that slow poaching your tuna so that way it's not falling apart and all the, all the good uh, fat part of the tuna right. is not coming out. So uh, let me put the gloves on. Okay. And I can show the folks at home you've already done some uh, lemon zest in our bowl here because when you use the fresh lemon, you use both the I juice use both. Yeah. and the zest. And the zest. So, um, and then when... That's, when a, that's a lot of tuna right yeah. there. I had a lot of people too. I mean, <laughs> you, know, you got full staff here. Um, yeah, just then later on, you just uh, break it apart mm -hmm. uh, any way you want. If you wanted to keep it a little bit chunky, you can do that too. But this time, you know, it's, it's a great tuna, so I don't want to uh, mix them up with the mayonnaise and cover up all the tuna flavor. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do with the extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And uh, here's some jalapeno one seeded because mm -hmm. you don't want too spicy. Right. Uh, you know, jalapeno with the seed is spicy. Right, that makes it uh, yeah, quite spicy. Yeah. What I have, um, I have whole one uh, red pepper chopped up. Love red pepper. Yeah, so it gives a great flavor. And uh, three, three to four stock of celery. Onion is optional, but mm -hmm. you know, I'm not putting it. Right, we're gonna pass on that option. Pass on that option. Here. Uh, dill, dill is right. great for seafood. Any sort of seafood, shrimp salads, sure. Or tuna salad that you're doing, dill is the perfect match for that. Wow. And you can always put extra, it's not a problem. Fresh herbs, you That's can always. That's a lot always, of dill right there. Yeah. And then uh, goes extra virgin olive oil. And then definitely salt pepper. How many sliders are you planning on making here, buddy? I, I don't this know. Is, uh, but it, seems it, like you're overflowing it, your yeah, bowl here. Probably it'll be like a 50 slider in here, but when, uh, I'm going to do only one for you. <laughs> By the way, our producer Tom is yelling in my ear to stop saying he's, you're making too much because he's hungry. Yeah. So, and then you know you just incorporate very well. You know you can add a little bit of hot sauce. You know. Sure. And then when it's folded, Bob, you want to squeeze this lemon juice? Absolutely. For me? Just right in there. Yeah, right in there. Am I doing it right? Yeah, just press it down. That's All it. Right. All right. Mix the... it around too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know you're gonna make. Oh, look Oops. out! It's okay. Did I get in it's your okay. eye? No, no, I'm good. I was I'm aiming good. for your eye. Yeah, that's why you have eyelashes. So, <laughs> Let's get all that juice in there. Yeah. So uh, let, let me do another one. I think you need oh, like a little one? bit more. Yeah. Sure. So that way. All right. Slice lemony flavor to it. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then you know you can add. You can add uh, fold uh, the egg into it, so that sure. will help to give you a creamy texture to it. Mm -hmm. But you know, you make the tuna salads, and you can pull, actually put the eggs right on the slider bun, okay. so that uh, Patrick can eat it too. You know? Right. Patrick's allergic to eggs, so we'll skip the eggs for his portion. Yeah. Sure is uh, mixed that well. Good. Mixed well already. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do a little bit in here, and then give you a little bit of egg. Have a gloves okay. on. So, and All then. Right. You want to take a toothpick and uh, is that how you do it? On it? Yeah. Boom. That there makes it a slider, right? That's if you don't it. have a toothpick, That's it's it. not a slider. It's just a yeah. little tiny sandwich. A little tiny sandwich. So now How's we can that? enjoy. I'm trying to hold it here so we can get a shot for camera one. All right. So we've got the tuna slider here. And coming up in our next half hour, you got a what? A German potato German salad? German potato salad. All right. Yeah. That sounds fantastic. We're, uh, we're making some nice uh, tailgating food here. Yep. Folks are really going to love this. Chef Nazim, thank you so much. You're welcome.